Today we're making a bit of a preparation video. We've got a couple of nodules with ammonites inside that we're going to prepare and they're in tough limestone nodules and here we've got a nautilus which has a lot of pretty loose shale around it. So my dad is going to remove the shale in just a moment and then afterwards I am going to prepare the ammonites in the tougher nodules. We're going to be using a range of tools from big pens that quickly remove a lot of the stone to smaller finer pens. Um, this is one of the pens we've just recently purchased from Paleotech and is the T-Rex pen. This is usually used down on Dorset fossils but recently they've made it so it can work on Yorkshire material very nicely so we've been trying this out quite a lot and it's going very well so far so we're going to be using this one primarily in this video. so that you can see all the way around the specimen now. A little bit more fine work just to do 
on the inner walls and a little bit of the stone in the walls up here and then we're pretty much done after that need to remove the tool marks as well and then we can get on with preparing the next specimen lovely ammonite nodule here to open up here's one we've just done and this specimen I've just chipped around slightly and you can see the gorgeous colors so hopefully it opens up well I've got my super safe safety goggles as well so let's open it up Really nice, it's very pyritic, making it look really golden. Here's another specimen we have. Looks like it's not, well, it's definitely not perfectly preserved from this side. Hopefully on the reverse side, the entire specimen might be contained within. So let's remove the stone and find out. As you can tell, quite a lot of fossil preparation is removing the matrix of the stone away from the fossil, like removing the bulk of it. And then only at the very end, really, do you actually start to expose the fossil itself. So that's why you need like powerful tools that will remove the stone pretty quickly, but also in a controlled fashion. It's quite tempting just to put a hammer and chisel to this, try and knock lumps off, but realistically it would just damage the fossils. So you have to remove it with its finer tools. That's the only way you can do it if you want to properly do it. So let's keep removing more of the stone. What I'm going to focus on doing is trying to expose the center of the specimen from this side. And if it is present, I'll finish off the entire specimen and if it's not, then we might as well just keep with the side that's already exposed. Or possibly do this side anyway. We'll just see what the centre of it looks like really. That's the main thing we need to find out right now. looking pretty promising so far there's already a lot more preserved on the, on the reverse side than the ones on the side that was already showing let's keep going and reveal a bit more
perfect. watching i hope you enjoyed the video and more preparation videos to come